It's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and we are once again painting another Space Marine character. It's been a long time coming but here he is Azrael, the Supreme Grandmaster of the Dark Angels and it's absolutely stunning. Goodness gracious me, what a glow up. I love it and it's been sent to me early by Games Workshop as part of the Wrath of the Soul Forge King box to build up and paint for all of you and that is exactly what we're going to be doing today and I'm really excited. So, without further ado, he has been primed in Wraith Bone and the colour we're going to be using first is Shyish Purple and we'll be applying this over the top of his underskirt and what we're going to do is we're just going to negotiate our brush in there And then we're just going to start painting this over the top, just like this, using these nice big broad brush strokes. Being nice and methodical. One thing to bear in mind, you will want to catch the underside of the cloak or skirt. And there is a little bit of it poking through under there, so don't forget about that. Just whilst we're waiting for that to dry, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the next color, which is gonna be his long flowing robes. And they are very creamy and very, very soft. And so the color we're gonna be using for this is Seraphim Sepia. And we wanna be, again, just quite careful here as we do this, because we want this to be a really smooth coat across the robes. It's very, very, very supple and soft cloth. So we just wanna start applying this like this. Don't need very much on our brush at all and again we just want to use these big broad brush strokes across the surface of the robe So with that Seraphim Sepia all applied, we are still waiting for the shyish purple to dry. So we're gonna move on to the next color. Now we're gonna work on his green armor next. There is a few extra bits of green, for example, up on the banner up here, but we're not gonna be dealing with that just yet. We're just working on the green armor of him and we'll work on the green armor of the Watcher of the Dark as well, given as he's got a little green foot just under there, but also he's carrying the helmet. Now the color we're gonna be using first is Corandrus Green. And this is recommended to me by one of my Patreons, Chewy. So many thank yous for that. And we're just going to apply this over the top of all of the green armor. And this isn't the final coat. So anyone thinking of switching off because I don't know my Dark Angels. 
Don't worry. This is just going to be our pre-shade, so it makes the applying the Dark Angels green that little bit easier. Grandest green goes on nice and smoothly. And we need to do whatever we can to make Dark Angel's green play ball. Because he's a temperamental paint. And so with that done, we now have Azrael, Grand Master of the Salamanders, but he needs to be with the Dark Angels. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Contrast Medium and Dark Angels Green. And we're going to apply this over the top of all the armour. So with that one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and dark angels green applied, he's looking a lot more like a dark angel now. He's looking absolutely wonderful. So what we're going to do is now move on to our next color, and this is going to be Volupus pink. And what we're going to do here is we're going to apply this over the top of his skirt, which is now finely dry. Just like this. Just catching that little blob there. And the other thing we're going to use the Volupus pink on. is on our wax seals. On all the purity seals. As well as the soft grip. So with that Volupus pink applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to kind of make a few little corrections here and there. And the colour we're going to be using for this is Corax White. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to essentially picking out all of our white details, but also just kind of correcting any mistakes we might have made over these details, if you see what I mean. So we're going to be applying Corax White over the top of the wings here on the chest. that sort of thing. We're going to be doing the same thing over here. And we're going to be using this over the top of 
all of the paper. So with that Corax white applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over a couple of different details. So we've got areas such as the soft joints in his armour, although there aren't that many of those on full display. We've got this one right here. Like that. And what we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of his little tilting shield. So with that Black Legion all applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Saigor Brown and we're going to use this to paint in all of his leather. So we have areas like the belt, the pouches, holster so with that now done what we're going to do is we're going to take some blood angels red we're going to apply this over the top of well there's quite a fair bit of red all over him so what we have is we have the little sword here on his front Another sword over here. gun casing and we have the winged helmet as well again there is stuff that's going on on the banner but we're going to come back to that a little bit later so with that blood angels red applied to these details what we're then going to do is shade them using some caraberg crimson and normally we would do this towards the end but we're doing this now because well, we've got a bunch of other details around them and then just kind of trying to navigate this caribou crimson around these details will be a little bit annoying. So we're just going to apply this over the top of this and we're just looking to do really the wings here on the helmet. Like that. As well as the bolt gun casing. The rest of it can stay as it is. So with that now done, we're then going to take some Gilliman flesh and we're going to apply this over the top of his face. So with that Gilliman flesh applied, we're then going to take some Apothecary White and we're going to apply this over the top of all of our white details, of which we have a lot. It's got areas like the chest aquila, the chapter icon on his shoulder.
these winged bits on the gun. As well as all of the paper. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some black Templar and we're going to apply this over the top of his hair as well as that power cable going around. His gorget. So with that Black Templar applied, we're then going to take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to apply this over two areas. So we've got this little feather just here, like that, and we've got the skulls on his backpack. And so with that Agrax Earthshade applied, it is now time to add some metallics. Now the first one we're gonna add is Retributor Armor. And well, there's a ton of gold details all over him. So I'd recommend having the product photography out in front of you. However, we do have this little kind of trinket just down here that we're gonna do with the Retributor Armor. Like so, we've got this skull just here on the pistol. We've got the pommel and hilt of the sword. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron warriors. I'm going to use this to paint in well, pretty much all of our remaining details, excluding, of course, that flag. So we're going to be getting this all over the sword blade, the mechanical areas on our backpack and on the gun. We've got the kind of decorative features of his belt as well. And the thing we are going to do at this point in relation to the flag, it's painting the banner pole. So with that Iron Warriors all applied, as you can see, we are very, very close to being War Hipster battle ready. Now there are a couple of details that we haven't done yet, but for now what we're gonna do is gonna add some shades before we then move on to getting the rest of it battle ready as it were. And this is, of course, what I'm referring to as the flag. And we've got a little book under here. But what we are going to do is we're going to add some shades. Then we'll finish those de details and then we'll highlight the whole thing at once. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a tiny amount of Targor Raid Shade. I'm going to use this to shade Azrael's face. You don't need very much here. What we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of his hair. With that Targor Raid shade applied, we then take Gilliman Flesh and we're going to use this to shade all the gold. And with that Gilliman flesh all applied, we then take some Nuln oil. And we're going to use this to shade all of the silver, 
apart from the sword. We're going to leave that just for the moment. We're also going to use this to shade his little tilting shield. As well as the power cable. And with that now done, we're then going to take some frost heart and we're going to apply this over the top of the plasma coils. So as promised, it is now time to start finishing off some of the other little bits. So we're gonna start with the Watcher in the dark. I'm gonna take some Black Legion here. I'm gonna be real careful. What we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this inside the hood. Like that. And we're also going to paint this inside the sleeve. With that Black Legion applied, we then take Shayish Purple. I'm going to apply this over the top of the little book. And so just to finish off that book, what we then do is we take a little bit of Retributor armor. We use this to paint in little clasps and locks and things. So with our Watcher in the Dark now fully base coated, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the flag. It's a banner. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use two colours here, Imperial Fist and Blood Angel's Red. And we're going to take that Imperial Fist on our brush and we're going to apply this over the top of the little flames that we've got just here. Come up like that. We're then going to wash the brush. I'm going to take a tiny amount of Blood Angel's Red and I'm going to apply this over the top towards the top half of our flames, like that. Then we wash the brush once more, grab a little bit more Imperial Fist, and then just use this where the two colors meet. Kind of blend them together like that. We've got a few more little tiny flames just under here as well. So with those flames painted in we now take Black Legion and we apply this over the top of the entirety of the banner, excluding any of the raised details. So with that Black Legion all applied, as you can see, all the way around, what we're then going to do is take some Dark Angels Green and we're going to apply this over the top of the robes up here. Now 
then with that now done, we're going to take some Blood Angels Red and we're going to apply this over the top of the sword, the trim, the little kind of belt of our robed figure up here. as well as the sword blade. At the top. And with that Blood Angels Red all applied, we then take some Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to apply this over the top of the little footer on the banner. Because there's Azrael. And with that now done, we're going to take some Null Oil. I'm going to apply this over the top of the wings and over the top of the black. And because I forgot to do it earlier, we're going to once again take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to apply this over the top of the skull at the top here. And we're going to apply this over the top of the bones. And so with that Agrax Earthshade applied for a second time, we're then going to take some Apothecary White. We're going to apply this over the top of the paper, just as we did before. And we're going to apply this over the top of the little statue at the top. And with that apothecary white applied, we're then going to take some Volupus pink. And we're going to apply this over the top of the wax seal. And I'm going to mention it now because we don't need to film it again, but what we are going to do is we're going to use Retributor Armor over the remaining areas. So we've got the bits on the banner, pole, here and here and here. And we've got that little medallion just there in the middle of the flag. So with that done, barring the shading on those gold details because we're still waiting for them to dry, Azrael is almost at what I would call a war hipster battle ready, and he's looking well, he's looking fabulous already. However, to get him there, just this last bit, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down iron breaker, and we're going to apply this over the top of our brighter half of the blade. So we're going to apply this over the top of this half of the sword, and we're just going to ignore this side. And apply this coming all the way down, just avoiding that little recess around the power node, like that. And along the other side, we're going to do the same thing again, only along this half of the blade. And so with that now done, we're going to add some shades to that sword. We're going to add Griff Charger Grey first. 
and we're going to do this alongside our iron breaker halves of the blade and we don't want loads of this on our brush as we do this and what we are going to do is we're going to start from the base and we're going to apply drift charger grey Just like that. And with that Grip Charger Grey shade applied, we then take Null Oil and we apply this over the side that is still Iron Warriors. And so with those shades applied to our sword, Azrael is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. I think he looks fantastic already. However, we're not gonna leave him there, no. We're gonna take him to the next level. And we're gonna do this by adding some more shades, a couple of different layers, and some highlights. Now where we're gonna start is on the sword blade. And that's why we've got Griff Charge Grey open. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing kind of like a non-metallic metal effect. Uh, like we've got on the box art, but not like exactly the same as the one that they've got. But what we are going to do is we're going to take some Griff Charger Grey now. We don't, again, don't want very much of this on our brush at all. And what we're going to do is we're going to, towards the kind of top half of our iron breaker area, down to around about there, kind of halfway, we're going to add some of this Griff Charger Grey. And so we're just going to start applying this. Just like that. We're going to wash the brush and then we're just going to smooth out any kind of drying lines or any inconsistencies that we might have from where we've applied it. Once you've done it once, you can then do it again. Now this time, you want to go a little bit less. So you want to just kind of build up this Griff Charger Grey towards the tip. And with that now done, for a third time, we're going to take some Griff Charger Grey. And we're going to apply this towards the kind of the, the sharpest point towards the edge, towards the top. Like that. So with the Griff Charger Grey version of things done on both sides, as you can see, we're now going to do exactly the same process again, but with Null Oil on the darker side. And this time we're going to go from the bottom. And we're going to do this three times in smaller and smaller increments, just as we've done with the Griff Charger Grey. And take Null Oil. And apply this to around about half the blade, like that. So with the first coat done, we then take a second one. And we apply this again over about two thirds of what we've already just done. So 
And with that done, for our third and final time, we're going to apply a small amount of this towards the very bottom. And so with that all done, we now need to do a little bit of brightening up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron hand steel. And what we're going to do is we're going to add three or four parts water to it. We're going to make it really, really runny. So you can see here on my thumb how it's kind of just barely a paint. We want to add some shine in here. And what we want to do is on the areas that we haven't done with our null oil and our Griff Charger Grey, is we want to add some of this kind of metallic glaze. like that, bring it down to where the kind of colors meet. We're gonna wash the brush and then we're just gonna feather away with the brush. To create a nice smooth transition. And then we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. So with that iron hand steel glaze applied, what we then do is take some iron breaker I'm going to use this to highlight all of the blade. And so just to finish off the sword blade, what we're then going to do is take some retributor armor and we're going to apply this over the top of the power nodes. So with that done, we can now move on from the sword because it is finished. Well, the sword blade is. It looks pretty fantastic. So what we're going to do now is move on to the robes. And the color we're going to be using to highlight these is Screaming Skull. Now it's not going to be a particularly stark highlight, but that's exactly what we want. We just want these to be really soft, creamy robes. We're just going to pick out the edges and any sharp folds. in the fabric. So with that done, the robes are finished. They look fantastic. Nice and soft and nice and bright. So what we're gonna do is move on now and we're gonna highlight all of the green. And the color we're gonna be using is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Warpstone Glow and Moot Green. So with that Screaming Skull all applied, our robes are finished. We don't want any stark highlights. We want them to be nice and soft and they look fantastic. So what we're gonna do is move on now. I'm gonna highlight all the green. And the color we're gonna be using to do this is a roughly two parts warpstone glow to one part moot green. And we're just gonna pick a place to start, which is actually harder than it looks because there's so little green on him. In fact, we've got this little hip plate here. And we're just gonna start picking out all the edges. And one thing to point out here is that I may have gone a little bit heavy on his right shoulder pad. So when I'm doing this, I'm actually also applying a little bit of a relayer with this mix over that right shoulder pad, just to brighten it up a little bit. Because this highlight, whilst it's not particularly stark, it does just kind of add that little bit of pop.
So with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down moot green. I'm going to use this on the sharpest details. around all the armor. So with that done, all of the green armor is now finished and I think it looks pretty spectacular. So what we're gonna do is move on to our next large detail and that's all the white. And the color we're gonna be using to highlight all of this is some thinned down white scar. We want to go really bright here. And we're just going to be highlighting our kind of solid details. So we don't need to worry about any of the paper. So with all of that white scar applied, I caught a little bit of an audible and actually just did a little bit of spot highlighting on all of the paper with it as well. So do just bear that in mind. Uh, but what we're gonna do now, because all the white is now finished, what we're gonna do is move on to the black. The color we're gonna be using for this is Dawnstone. There's not tons of black, but what we do have is the little tilting shield and the banner. And of course, the gun casing down here. So with that Dawnstone all applied, we then take a teeny tiny amount of Administratum Grey, and we use this to pick out the sharpest parts across all of those black details, including the hair. Just want to add a little bit along the hairline. On the subject of the hairline, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the face now. I'm going to take some flayed one flash. We're just going to use this to pick out the sharpest details and features around his face. So with that flayed one flesh highlight applied, we're then gonna take a tiny amount of Black Legion and we're gonna apply this over the top of his eyeballs. And so with that Black Legion applied, you then want to take a teeny tiny little dot of Screaming Skull. We want to add this in each of the corners of his eyeballs. So with that done, Azrael's face is now finished. So what we're gonna do is just gonna very quickly take a little bit of Cacophony Purple. We're gonna apply this as a little highlight towards the bottom. Of our purple robe. So 
So for that purple robe now complete, what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take some thin down Wild Rider Red. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our red details. So with that Wild Rider Red all applied, just before we finish it off, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some Blood Angels Red and we're going to apply this over the top of the eye lenses on the helmet. So with that Blood Angels Red applied to those eye lenses, what we're then going to do is take some Fire Dragon Bright. And we're going to add a little highlight along the bottom end of the lens. Struggling to get my words out. Like that sort of thing. And we're going to use this as a little spot highlight on all the red. Just picking out the corners here. So with that Fire Dragon Bright now applied, all of our red details are done. So we're going to move on to the gold. And the color we're going to be using to highlight the gold is Liberator Gold. So with all that Liberator Gold applied to all of our gold details, just before we finish off the gold, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Iron Breaker once again, and we're gonna use this to highlight all the silver. So with all that Iron Breaker applied, we're then going to take some Stormhost Silver. I'm going to use this to finish off the gold and the silver. By just picking out the sharpest details, and we can also, if you really want to, just add a little bit of this to the tip of the sword. And that sort of thing. So with that Stormhost Silver all applied, we're then going to take a little bit of Gorthor Brown. We're just going to use this as a little spot highlight across all of our brown leather details. Again, we're not just picking out all of it. We're just literally looking for corners. Just add a little bit of visual interest to these areas. We want them to be quite dark. And so with that done, we're then just going to take a little bit of Pallid Witch Flesh and we're going to do much the same thing on the feather. The skulls on his backpack and the parchment up here on the banner. So with that done, Azrael is now finished. Or is he? Because there is one last thing left to do. And this one is entirely optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. But what we are going to do is we're going to take a tiny, tiny amount of Black Legion. And we're going to use this to add some little scripture lines. Going across all of his paper.
like this, so that sort of thing. And if you're feeling super fancy on the shoulder, you can write out a word. And I'm just going to write out Azrael because I believe he has his name written on him twice. And so with all of that freehand writing and scripture done and his base complete in a very simple Sterling Battlemire and Tyrant Skull, of course, <laughs> recipe, Azrael, the Supreme Grandmaster of the Dark Angels, is now finished. And he's been at the top of a wish list for a lot of people, especially Dark Angels fans, and I think they've absolutely crushed it here. He's a fantastic little mini. So many callbacks to the original, particularly with that back banner and the gun. I just think he's absolutely fantastic and wonderful. And I really enjoyed painting him. And I really like that green. Thanks, Chewy. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.